he showed that in, or he claimed that in Sardarabad was Deus ex machina, the unexpected intervention of the gods that brought the Armenian people in there, as he said, drech, drechavor, pyuratsin vodki hanets, and defended uh, and stopped the Turkish uh, invasion and allowed for the creation of this little state. Uh, Aram Manugyan, whom you see on the left, was the only major Armenian leader in Yerevan at the time because the Armenian leadership was still in Tiflis. He is regarded in many by many people as the real founder of the republic. They didn't want to separate from Russia at that time, but they were forced to do so and they tried to join together in an experiment of having a federation, a Caucasian federation, of Georgians, Armenians, Azerbaijanis, all taking in all of the South Caucasus and being a single state with constituent parts. But that experiment did not last. It lasted one month because the Turkish armies continued to advance uh, as far as Alexandropol. Uh, it seemed like the end of the Armenians was at hand. If you see um, what the Republic began with in these hash marks, you see all the territories of Russian Armenia, not Turkish Armenia, but Russian Armenia, Eastern Armenia, that were lost in May of 1918. All of the region of Kars and Ardahan, all of the district of Surmalu in the county uh, of uh, the province of Yerevan with Mount Ararat, Masisa, Aramadahayastani Maschir, Aramadahayastani Maskazmaza, Yerevan Gubernyai Nanki Maskazmaza, Yevmian Ksantavaganina Burpokvetsav Yevkanats Turpio. Armenian refugees from 1915 who had uh, come to Echmiadzin and so forth, you know the story of the thousands of Vanetsis and others, uh, the story of Arshil Gorky and his family. Um, uh, these people returned to Van, they returned to Garin, but in 1918, because of the situation with the Russian armies withdrawing or fleeing from the area under the urging of Lenin to leave the front, not only this front, but all the fronts, the German front, the Austrian front, and the Turkish front, uh, Armenia was in a serious uh, political uh, turmoil. Sometimes they don't understand the um, nuances uh, of, of the vocabulary. And so you have to be sure that they understand what you are trying to say. And then also the language in Armenia has changed a great deal. Uh, and as you know, um, much of the vocabulary uh, is, are not the good Armenian words, but have become international words. Uh, you know, why should I use the word unikal? What does unikal mean? Yurahaduk. Inchu planavorel, yevochte zarakarel. And so I had to, I had to uh, fight, <laughs> fight in order to insist that we use the Armenian word, even though I am told and warned, I say, you know, and so I, uh, I became a little stubborn on that, and I'm glad that finally, uh, last year, through the Academy of Sciences here, the support of the Academy of Sciences, these four volumes um, became available, and they're now available in bookstores, I think, somewhere in, in Yerevan. Um, and then one volume with, uh, done with Guyana Mahmurian uh, was uh, doing a volume in Russian on the foreign policy of the First Republic, and that is for the Russian readers uh, especially. After that, I've done the six volumes on the Armenian genocide. I don't like genocide studies. I'm not a genocide historian, but I was pushed into this field by denial 
of the Armenian Genocide and um, uh, published these. And the, uh, the final thing that I'm proud of now is starting in around 2000, I started a series of conferences at UCLA in which we focused on the historic Armenian provinces and cities and communities of the Ottoman Empire, uh, starting with Van, uh, Bitlis, Harpert, uh, Erzurum, uh, Sepastia, Dikranagerd, Girigya, Pontos, Bolis, uh, Karzanani, Izmir, uh, Gesaria, Kapadovkia, Pokerasia, Yevchina in 2016, and the Armenian communities of uh, basically of Kesab and Musadag. And so uh, in the English language, we now have available uh, these 14 volumes for non-Armenian readers and also Armenian readers who don't have access to um, easily access to uh, knowing a little bit. These are not comprehensive volumes, but they tell us a little bit about each of these areas where the Armenians were and 